Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Mel and welcome back to Mel Got Game where I bring you top plays, top sports news, and breakdowns of the previous week. So if that interests you, please like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, welcome back to another Atlanta Falcons vlog video. We're going to be going back to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And we're going to be seeing the Falcons play the San Francisco 49ers today. The 49ers come in at the top of the NFC West and we come in at number three in the NFC South. But at the same time, I feel like we're not that different. I mean, the San Francisco 49ers are still kind of struggling. They're coming off a great win against the Panthers, but the Panthers aren't that good this year. And we are coming in off a devastating loss to the Buccaneers. One game where I feel like we could have won if we had a chance to get the ball back, but at the same time, we also shouldn't have been in that position to let the refs decide the game. So, you know, it just comes down to us playing good football the entire game, playing good on defense, being able to score on offense, and that last game, I mean, we just did not do that until the fourth quarter. And this game today, it's like a must win game because if we lose today, we're gonna go to two and four. And I feel like that could definitely hurt some momentum, any type of momentum that we have, any type of confidence. So we gotta win today to get back to 500. And if you guys remember from my Atlanta Falcons prediction video, I said we was gonna win the game. I said it was gonna come down to the quarterback position. So Jimmy Garoppolo and Marcus Mariota. So we gonna see which quarterback outperforms each other. And I personally feel like whichever one outperforms is gonna win the game. So with that being said, I'm talking a little bit too much and I'm running a little late. So we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here and we're gonna see y'all at the stadium. Y'all like this jacket? I love this jacket. This, this jacket, this jacket goes so hard. It got like the little, the little black going into the little fade around. Ooh wee! Boy, yes sir ski. Yes sir ski. Little fit check too. Little fit check. Yes sir ski. Look, we got the, the little space jams. I don't even know if y'all can see that, but yes sir ski. <laughs>
got to do more of that. We have got to do more of that. Welcome to the field. You're a better comic cheerleaders. Presented by Lawrence Ferry. back from the Falcons game and as you can tell I'm very excited because I mean we won okay we beat the 49ers 28 to 14 and we finally God we finally held on to a lead I was a little scared at first because we were up 14 to 0 and then we gave the lead up by allowing two unanswered touchdowns but after halftime it was just a shutout offense went crazy and defense just shut the 49ers down and whatever game plan the Falcons came up with for that second half I'm gonna need them to do that every single game I've been saying it every freaking week that Marcus Mariota needs to run the ball more and I'm not talking about just scrambles and getting outside the pocket when the line breaks down I'm talking Talking about design runs, read options, quarterback draws, play action, bootlegs, all that type of stuff. And in the second half, the Falcons finally listened. I don't know, somebody's watching my channel or something because they finally did it. And Kyle Pitts got his first touchdown of the year. Hopefully that's some signs that we're gonna use him in the offense a little bit more. Yeah, man, I mean, I really have nothing to complain about for like the first time ever after a Falcons game. I mean, Marcus Mariota played good. The defense played great. Coaching was amazing. Dude, this was a great win. And for my predictions right now, I'm actually four and two. The only ones I didn't get right was the Browns and I believe the Saints. I said we was going to beat the Saints and I said we was going to lose to the Browns. So far, we have lost to the Saints and we have beat the Browns. But at this point in the season, we are three and three, which is what I said our record would be at this point in the season after the 49ers. So dude i mean i'm pretty good with this prediction stuff i ain't gonna lie but yeah next we got the cincinnati Bengals, and they have the one and only joe Brrr. and for my predictions i did say we was gonna lose obviously i'm gonna be rooting for the falcons to win but i did say we was gonna lose so we're gonna see how that plays out but for now i'm riding high up this win and i'm hoping we can carry it into next week but guys that is it for today if you like the video please click like subscribe comment do whatever you guys gotta do to show your support it is greatly appreciated i hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe and i'll see you guys next time on mail guy game i'm out peace with joe brrr. with joe brrr. <laughs> joe brrr. <laughs>